Welcome back to Flashpoint. Joining us now, former Union County GOP Chairman Dan Barry with, a, with another view of this issue. We continue to talk about uh, Senator Burr and his censure that he saw at the state level and then at some county levels, too, we should say. Uh, Dan, as a person who's been in, in county politics when it comes to Republicans and, and across the state as well, what is your view of this? Man, it's, it is a mess is the best way to put it. Um, it and, you know, I was kind of chuckling with some friends at breakfast this morning. I'm a Trump elector. You know, I, I, I went and voted in the Electoral College for President Trump. It's just a bizarre situation that we have. Um, and to watch the reaction of the Central Committee for the State Party and then these counties, I think they've just gone overboard in the entire situation. Um, Senator Burr has been a stalwart of the conservative movement. Um, I think he's got a perfect record with the NRA, for example. Um, Long-term servant of this state in uh, Congress and then in the U.S. Senate. Um, and, you know, we need a civics lesson. We're a republic. We elect people to represent our interests, but they're also free to vote their conscience. And in this particular time with Senator Burr, he voted his conscience. And it's out of line with some of the base of our party. But, you know, he's the senator and he has the ability to make that decision and then face the voters if he were going to run for reelection. What does this come down to? Are, are, are people just are your party leaders just scared of, of, of Trump and seeming to cross him or, or is there something more there? There is a, a growing frustration within the base of the party that the top of the party isn't listening to them and that they're embracing statist. You know, Richard Burr is a long term serving senator and they're frustrated with a couple of his votes. So they want their pound of flesh. That's not how we operate. Um, and I think that there was, um, as you and I have talked about before, the party structure doesn't even have a censure um, provision within our governing documents. When you look at um, conservatives, one of the roots of, of what we believe is in the rule of law. And the governing documents spell out what governments and institutions may do. Um, and if they're not defined that they can do it, then by definition, they're not empowered to do it. And there's nothing in the North Carolina plan of organization that empowers the central committee or frankly, its executive committee to censor an elected official. They do it, but there's nothing in the plan that provides for that activity. Where does this go from here? Right now it's Senator Burr. Um, it's been others in the past who, who've gotten the scorn of the party because uh, for crossing Trump. Um, where, where, where do you foresee this going? The party is clearly divided, in, in my opinion, into three different groups right now. You've got the new, I, I won't want to call them all new, but this brand new Trump voter that's getting engaged and active in party politics. You have uh, this older group of people that are just kind of throwing up their hands and I'm afraid are going to walk away. You know, um, we've seen a wave of changing of voter registration in the last couple of weeks, actually since the 6th of January. Um, and so we're beginning to, you know, pay the price for that. Then there's this middle group of folks like me that are telling everybody, just calm down. We, we get charged to win elections. The Republican Party exists to recruit Republicans and to get them elected. We're not charged to discipline elected officials. That's the voters job. And when they stand for reelection, um, that's what's going to happen. Tom Tillis run a, won a reelection. He almost faced a primary. So I think we've got to remember Civics 101 and what the party's role is. Now, we've got to bind up our wounds. There's no question about that. Um, and this divisiveness is not helping the cause. And we are now seeing a ripple effect now that the Central Committee issued their censure vote. Now the counties are actively issuing censure resolutions, which are far more damning than the one that the Central Committee did and are way out of line. Final question quickly. Is the Republican t Party a big tent party or not? I think we are a big tent party. And I think it's time that we open up the flaps and invite everybody in. Everybody needs a seat at the table. But in part of that seat at the table also comes the responsibility to put the institution first. And um, I'm fine with, with new people getting involved, learning our systems and driving our performance on to victory in 2022. But at the same time, we don't burn the building down while we're under reconstruction. And many will criticize you within your party for saying what you just said. 
But uh, you know, I thought a lot about how I was going to handle today. Somebody's got to take the microphone and uh, put some reasonableness back into the discussion. All right, Dan Perry, former chair of the Union County GOP. Dan, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, buddy.